Reddit, what were the best comebacks you've ever heard? We were in chemistry class. Can't remember why, but the teacher was pissed off and giving us some kind of lecture. My friend farted loudly, and the teacher looked at him angrily said, that was out of order, and he said sorry sir, didn't know it was your turn. That got him a detention. The story of how my grandparents went on their first date has the greatest comeback ever. My grandpa was working a sub shop at the register. My grandma was in line, they've kind of met a few times in passing before, and she gets up to the register and my grandfather, attempting to hit on her, says how do you get through life looking so ugly and my grandma replies, I don't know, but you've been doing it longer than I have. And they've been happily married ever since. Once I was at dinner with my friend and his girlfriend who is from India. She used the phrase, shut your ears instead of don't listen, or something like that. Her boyfriend proceeded to mock her because he was in a pissy mood. In a sh voice, he said, wow, shut your ears? What kind of grandma is that? She said really loudly for everyone at our table and the next table to hear, how about shut your effin' mouth? Is that correct enough grandma for you? I laughed. Secret Santa gift exchange in college. One guy gets a collection of British currency, he liked to collect foreign bills and coins, and a girl makes a rude comment about it being a stupid gift. Cue my mouth running off before my brain can stop it. Karen don't be rude, he just didn't want you to be the only one who gained 20 pounds this semester. Pandemonium ensued as her boyfriend tried to pick a fight, while she bursts into tears, it was not the best day for the club. My cousin was in town for Thanksgiving. He goes up to my 10 year old skinny nephew and jokes hey, it looks like you are gaining weight. My 10 year old cousin without skipping a beat tells him hey, it looks like you have diabetes. My cousin is 300 plus pounds. He hasn't been back to visit since. How to make a best friend for life. It was 2001 when I was in 5th grade. My dad did my ponytails in the morning and they were not cute. As I was walking away from my classmates I overheard my bully laughing and saying her hair is messed up in the back, and the new girl in school shouted back to her, well your face is messed up in the front. God that was awesome. I'll never forget that, as long as I live, and we are still friends to this day. Many years ago, when I was 12, I got into an argument with my mother and father. Exasperated, my mother said, you talk like you think your father and I don't have a brain between us. I immediately said, no, I do think you have a brain between you. My father burst out laughing, end of argument. Once watched a row in school between two girls, after a few minutes of insults this is said. Girl 1, would you wear socks if you had no feet? Girl 2, confused, what? Girl 1, slowly, would you wear socks, if you had no feet? Girl 2, still confused, no. Girl 1, why do you wear a bra then? Row over. Dating a girl in college, I was in second year, 19, and she was a grad student, 26. She was really apprehensive about her looks and our age difference. One time we were cuddling and she said, you shouldn't be with me, you should be with someone young and beautiful and thin. She set me up perfectly. I just wrapped my arms around her waist, looked her in the eyes very seriously, and said, but honey, I don't want someone who is young and beautiful and thin. I want you. She jabbed me in the ribs, and then laughed for 20 minutes. My wife and I were cuddling, and having a little intimate time. She's about 8 inches shorter than me, and she was lamenting that fact and I say yeah, you're only about 4 inches from perfect. Without missing a beat she snuggles in closer and says you are too, my love. It took me a second to pick that up, at which point I rolled over and proceeded to die a little on the inside, lol. 8 years on, and we are still 4 inches from perfect for each other. Random kid, I bet you can't see your penis in the shower. My friend, no, only your mom's head. Some group of college freshmen filled a condom with water and tried to drop it on my head, missed. I snuck up on them and started sh with them. Most were apologetic, but one of the girls gave me attitude and said it wasn't used or anything. 
I said of course it isn't. Look at you. I was pissed at the time, but I've actually felt terrible about it ever since. She wasn't even ugly, but I could tell it made her feel bad. In any case, it was my best work. I'm friends with this guy that has a large nose. It's not bad looking, it actually suits him quite well, but I'll poke fun at him for it sometimes. Anyways, one day we were austing each other, so I hit him with your nose, is bigger than Kim Kardashian's. He came back with you have bigger tits than your mother. I'm a guy. I shut up after that. Standing in line for the cafeteria in high school. Two middle schoolers arguing in front of me. One little smart hits the other with I bet you don't even know how many chromosomes you have. The other doesn't even blink before shouting back more than you. I instantly lost my sh. Definitely not the smartest comeback, but easily the funniest I've heard. Was getting my hair cut and this mother and her four kids come in. Immediately I felt bad for the mother because one of the young boys was running around like he just drank two Red Bulls. At one point the mother snapped after telling him to behave four or five times and threatened to take away his PS3. The entire place went silent because she yelled it and you could tell she was already embarrassed. What came out of her son's mouth was to this day the funniest sh I've ever heard. He yelled if you take away my PlayStation I'm going to tell grandma that daddy puts his pee pee in your mouth. The mother didn't even respond she just grabbed her kids and left the salon. Everyone burst into hysterics afterwards. My mom, when I was your age, I refused to date any boy whose hair was shorter than mine. My dad, wow, how short was your hair? Edit, it was just a great comeback. My mom had long hair in the 80s, and if a guy had hair shorter than hers, she wasn't attracted to him. We all know she had long hair, so no feelings were hurt. How's your wife and my kids? Wife's fine. Kids are retarded. Fox 5 host, don't you think you went a little too far with the Catholic Church jokes? Bill Burr, don't you think the Catholic Church went a little too far? I may be drunk miss, but in the morning I will be sober, and you will still be ugly. Winston Churchill, if you were my husband, I'd poison your tea, Lady Astor. Madam, if you were my wife I would drink it, Churchill. Reminds me of my favorite line from Little Rascals. If you were my kids, I'd punish you. If we were your kids, we'd punish ourselves. My grandfather used a handicap placard because of a heart condition. Outwardly he looked very healthy. One woman saw him get out of his car at the grocery store and told him you don't look handicapped. He told her you don't look like an a-hole. Co-worker made comment about performing a sexual act on my mother. I inform him that my mom is deceased. His reply, I know. It was a lot of digging. I work at a bar and these two old ladies were talking to each other. Lady 1, nobody really likes you. Lady 2, go suck another $5 before you end up homeless again. I don't even bother to pretend that I'm not listening to the conversations around me. This one got a big laugh out of me. David Letterman, you know, I'm not as dumb as I look. Tina Fey, yeah, but how could you be? My mom made cupcakes one day and they collapsed in the center for whatever reason. My husband at the time looked at them and told my mom they looked like a-holes and she replied I was thinking of you when I made them. Easily the most witty and quickest comeback I've ever heard from her line delivered by me. Dad was boasting about his looks at 65. The nurses said I looked very good for my age. Me, you were there for a colonoscopy. Are you sure they were looking at your face? I teach 16 to 20 year olds and one of my students kept insulting a girl. She turned around and with a completely straight face she said, if you're not careful, I'll F your dad and become your stepmom. My ex-girlfriend met my new girlfriend. Oh, did you know, I used to go out with Quad Gop? Yes, he mentioned you. Once. From Mad Men. Michael Ginsberg, I feel bad for you. Don Draper, I don't think about you at all. Someone was trashing on a user here on Reddit while using awful punctuation. Reply goes you missed so many periods that I'm sure you're pregnant.